Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Jonathan Mathis. Uh, yesterday, we heard the stunning news about Simone Biles, you know, deciding to withdraw from the gymnastics final. Now, you know, we do know that she has also uh, pulled out of the all-around event as well. Understandably so. You know, I feel... You know, what she's going through. Um, and I can empathize with that. A lot of people in America cannot empathize with that. Um, they don't have a compassion for her feelings. They uh, frankly don't care because it's all about them and not about her mental health and how she is feeling. And, you know, I understand why she has uh, opted to walk away. Look, this is a girl who is unwell. Um, she is struggling with mental health, and she wants to focus on that. And I think it's time as America that we erase the stigma surrounding mental health. I think that's very important. You know, I find it fascinating to hear and read stories about people having a, a necessary conversation about, men, about mental health. You know, and... It's as if this is a stunning revelation. No. We need to talk about mental health. It's important to talk about, you know. And I applaud, you know, Simone Biles for, you know, deciding to uh, step away for her well-being, for her, you know, personal reasons, and for her health. But you have a lot of ignorant people who said, who, who are saying she quit it. She quit on Team USA. How did she quit on Team USA? Her teammates were okay with it. They respected her decision. It's America that doesn't respect her decision. It's this world that doesn't respect her decision. You know, we live in a crazy world. We live in an insensitive world. An unappreciative, ungrateful world. But I find it funny that now that you know, you hear from Biles and, and these African-American athletes that all of a sudden everyone wants to talk about mental illness, you know, or they want to cast shame on the black athletes. And I'm not trying to, you know, pull the race card. I'm not trying to make this a racial thing. It's not about that because mental illness affects every race, every nationality, every culture, every human being. There is someone who is dealing with some mental health issues. You know, so, you know, for Simone Bills, the pressure was too much to bear. I mean, you know, she felt like she was carrying a weight on her shoulders. And Michael Phelps talked about this a little bit last night in an interview with Mike Tirico, how tough it can be to be an Olympic athlete. You know, the world is watching you. Uh, you know, you're in the spotlight. And, and sometimes that's too much for a young athlete to deal with. And I can understand why uh, Biles, uh, you know, withdrew from, from the event. You know, it was just too much for her to handle, you know. And, you know, she was already known as the GOAT. You know, she was widely considered and is uh, the best gymnast in U.S. history. Um you know, a lot of people classified her as the GOAT. I did myself, you know. Um, she's the most decorated gymnast, you know, in, in U.S. history. So, you know, when people are watching you and when, you know, they put so much expectations on you, it could be hard to manage. It could be hard for a human, you know, to, uh, to uh, take all of that in. You know, and I think that's why, you know, uh, she chose not to compete. And I can re respect her decision, but don't sit here and call the girl a quit, a quitter. She's not a quitter. You know, she represented this country and I'm proud of her for that. I stand with Biles today. I stand with her. Don't call her a quitter. How dare these people have the audacity to call this girl a quitter when she, you know, put herself in position to win a gold medal, 
when she's done this four or five years ago now um, in the Olympics and, you know, when she has made a name for herself. Don't, you know, call her a, a, a quitter. She's not a quitter. You know, she represented this country. I'm sick of all these ignorant comments. I'm sick of people saying that she is weak and selfish. No, she is not weak and selfish. It's not, having a mental illness is not a weakness. You know, if you're not mentally right to do something, why are you going to make it harder on yourself to try to, uh, you know, fulfill your, your passion at the moment? It's best for her to step away. It's not what everyone else wants. You know, I feel like, you know, she probably feel like herself that she was doing this for everybody else and not herself, you know. And when you are a public figure, you could feel like that. You know, um, I mean, it, it took a lot of courage, you know, for her to put her health and safety first in the face of intense pressure, you know, and people are saying, well, she chose not to compete because it was too challenging for her. Yes, mentally challenging for her, not because she performed poorly is why she decided to step away. It's because it was mentally challenging for her and she, and she felt that it was time to take a break from everything. And sometimes as human, as humans, we need that. We need you know, a few days to recharge, to regroup, to get ourselves back. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's not easy, but it's easy to sit here and be judgmental like half of the world is and not understand her feelings. You know, understand her feelings. She's a human like you, you know. She has a, a, emotions like you as well. So, I mean, this was emotional for her. Her teammates talked about it yesterday. I mean, it was a great interview. I heard bits and pieces of it, and I liked everything those young ladies said. I thought they handled it with grace. I thought they handled it with maturity, and I thought they handled it with great dignity and pride. And, you know, they made me proud. Um, I give them a round of applause uh, along with Simone Biles. You know, I, I, I can't, you know, um, say that I appreciate them enough. They have enjoyed this experience. They have showed their gratitude and they they went out there and they were great Olympians. And to me, that's a true winner. And what we saw was a young group of gymnasts who represented this country with great pride and dignity. And they exhibited it by the way they performed in those Olympics. So give them the credit that they deserve. You know, stop being so judgmental, you know, uh, against Biles. You know, let her do what she needs to do, what's best for her. People don't make decisions for for the fans. They make decisions based on how they feel, you know. And I think she made this decision personally for her, for her well-being, and for her health, you know. And to hell what everyone else thinks. It, it doesn't matter what you think, you know. It's just your opinion. And you're entitled to your opinion. But I don't think it's fair to sit here and criticize this woman and, you know, lambaste her because she chooses not to compete for the Olympics and to say that she quit on the entire country and quit on her team. That's not how her teammates feel. That's how you guys feel. That's not how I feel, but that's how the vast majority of you guys feel. And that's very selfish. That's very weak. That's very lazy. And that's very irresponsible of all you guys out there. And I'm talking to all the critics out there of all you guys criticizing her for uh, doing something that was best for her. You know, she's a true winner. You know, she, she deserves applause for this and when she goes back home to texas she deserves you know a, a welcome home party for you know the way she's handled the whole situation i think she handled it with great maturity and i also think that she was inspirational to those who are suffering from mental health you know let's mention that as well this girl's been through a lot she was abandoned as a child you know she went through sexual abuse you know, uh, her brother got into tr got in some trouble. You know, um, 
you know, she grew up with her grandparents in the suburbs of Houston, Texas. I mean, this girl has gone through a lot. And for her to show the courage and the strength that she has shown, it is simply amazing to me. It is very amazing to me. And it is uh, inspiring to many young girls out there who look up to her and may want to be like her someday. So give the girl a break. Stop criticizing her and let her be herself for once because she probably felt like she was somebody else because of the expectations that everybody put on her and because everyone, you know, um, was hoping that she could win a gold medal for the country. It's bigger than a gold medal. This is someone's life. Don't forget that. Talk to you guys later. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.